Now that's a lot of damage! Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today, this is not going to be a normal video. Nice. Today's video is actually going to be a theory video on Infinity War. Um, so, it's not like a bunch of theories that I have or anything. It's actually one big theory that has been trending on YouTube, and it's all I've heard about is, Loki's still alive, Loki's still alive, Loki's secretly Hulk. And, um... And I've, I've just been thinking, like, I mean, it's, I'm not doubting that Loki is, a, that is, that Loki is alive, and I think he could be alive too. Uh, I think he could still be alive, but I don't think he's Hulk. Hello darkness, my old friend. And I don't have a lot of research behind this, it's just... It just seems like a really, really far-fetched idea um, that he's secretly Hulk and all that. I am I heard one theory that after Hulk was beaten up, he could have made the illusion of him dying, but really he's he went into the Bifrost thing and was teleported to Earth with, with um, Bruce Banner and the Hulk. Um, so I heard that theory and I thought, okay, that's more believable because, I mean, he, he can do that. But I mean, I've heard theories like um, his he doesn't he's not strong enough to turn it turn himself into a Hulk with his powers. I've heard um, I've heard people just um, people saying that he uh, just doesn't know how to control. He doesn't know how to be a big giant green beast, which that's kind of stupid. I've heard people say that. Um, that he does, he doesn't want to turn into the Hulk. He just wants to stay Bruce Banner or whatever. Um, and I just think those are all really far fetched ideas. And once in a while, I would hear a reference um, from Bruce Banner that I think only Bruce Banner would know. And I don't think they would be things that Loki would know. It's like there's one scene where, um, which you guys probably know the scene when Tony Stark and Bruce Banner were talking before Cole of Obsidian was about to attack them. If you don't know who he is, big, tall, weird-looking guy who spoke some different language. Um, so, Bruce Banner and Tony Stark were talking, and he was like, Hey, Banner, you, you want a piece? And Bruce Banner was just like, No, but since when do I get what I want? And he and the thing is, he's the one who said he didn't want to fight any more beings and Thor Ragnarok. And he didn't say that when Loki was around. He only said that when it was just him and Thor. So that's something only he would know. So it's like, how would Loki know to say that? I mean, unless it's unless I'm just being too literal and taking everything they say seriously, or if just a joke. But I think what he said had something to do with the past, and obviously Loki doesn't know that past. So I think it is Bruce Banner, and I think that the Hulk is actually a theory that I heard about the Hulk is the Hulk is just too scared to come out and fight Thanos because. No one, except for the Hulk, the Hulkbuster, actually beat um, Hulk. Now, the Hulkbuster, though, is not like an actual thing. It's it's machine, and machine beat Hulk. But I think the fact that an actual living being more powerful than Hulk scares him. Ooh, 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 ooh. So that's why he decides to not fight anymore, and he stays inside Banner. But I think um, something that might draw him out, two things actually that I think will happen in Avengers 4, is either one, which is a theory that I, I'm on board with, and I think will happen because it happened in the comics, um, Hulk and Bruce Banner becoming one person, and not like Bruce Banner and then Hulk and then... You know, they just turn into each other once in a while. I think that Hulk will be, like, Bruce Banner will have the body of Hulk, but the mind of Bruce Banner, and Br so he'll have the intelligence, you know, the multiple IQs, or, or not IQs, the several PhDs that he said he had um, as Hulk, and he'll also have the strength, the strength, strength? The strength of Hulk, and the, the ability to you know, pull, you know, smash things. I was about to say pull, um, 
like earth plate things together but that's from something else that doesn't make sense but uh anyways um so uh, and then the other theory is um i think something uh, this is a theory that i haven't heard before i just thought about it it might not be true um i think something might happen to natasha romanoff or the black widow um because we all know that bruce banner and black widow you know they they like each other so i think that something might happen to um black widow and i don't think like death or anything but i mean who knows marvel marvel killed off all those characters i mean we do we do know they're all coming back to life and all but i mean they did kill off all those characters so i mean who knows what will happen but i think something is going to happen to black widow that's going to cause the hulk to come back out because he's just like no you, you can't do that that's that's just that's not good to do so he'll probably come out and then come back for round two and there's just one theory that i heard that apparently came from the comics called um I think it was called, it's been a while since I've seen it, I think it's called Gamma Hulk, where he, he's Hulk, but he's like glowing green and all that, and he's like 10 times more powerful than he already was, and someone theorized that maybe he'll turn into that, and he can actually beat Thanos, and he'll be stronger than Thanos, so, and I think that, along with the Black Widow thing, might happen, because he might be so upset, so angry, so raged, um, so upset at Thanos that I bet he'll turn into the Gamma Hulk with all that rage. Because he said that the Gamma Hulk only comes out when you, you've you just gone past the line. Like, you, you don't, like, no one ever goes past his anger line or whatever you want to call it. Um, but no one ever go, goes past the line. And when Thanos does something like that to Black Widow... That's probably going past the line to Hulk, and he's gonna get all upset and ups and angry, and he's gonna turn into the Gamma Hulk, and he's gonna just crush Thanos, and Thanos is gonna wish that he never broke his nose in the and in Infinity War. <laughs> before. Um, so, yeah, um, that's my theory on the Hulk and what might happen in Avengers in Four. And comment down below whether you agree or disagree. And if you disagree, then um, maybe put a why somewhere in there. Like, why you disagree. And I'll look into it more. But if it's just like, oh, I want to be a, a hater. <laughs> I'm going to disagree. Then, I mean, then I don't know if you're right or wrong. I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll look into the research that you put in. So... And uh, maybe I'll make another video saying, oh, I, I was wrong, and I'm not gonna, and I, I'll see if I could change that, and I'll look into it more. Um, and also, before I go, I'm gonna say that um, I'm actually gonna uh, take down my previous video. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please leave a like, and also subscribe, so you can hit the notification bell, so you can get notified of all my videos where I, once in a while, do a video like this. So if you like this video, then... You don't have to watch spy gaming videos if you don't like them. If you want to just pay attention to these videos, they'll come out once in a while. I've been watching Infinity War non-stop. I've watched it like 10, 11 times already since we got it on disc. And I watched it three times when it was in theaters. So I've been paying a lot of attention to the details of what's been going on in the movie. And I'm, and I'm just now starting to watch some of the older movies. See if I can pick anything up new that I didn't notice before. If I can tie any the storylines together. Um, so yeah, those videos will come out once in a while, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.